The story of this institute is not only amazing, but it's one of a kind. 1976, Dr. and Mrs. Fishman drove out in the family car with all their possessions and at age 62, rented a two bedroom apartment, put their laboratory in, in one bedroom and called it the La Jolla Cancer Research Foundation. Scientists in those years were basically doing their science in a vacuum because they didn't want their neighbor to see what they were doing. They might steal my secrets. No, no, the Fishmans were just the opposite. They were all family. You were part of their team. And that's the essence and the foundation and the DNA of this organization. I have spent the best part of my life with the Institute, building it up. And, and it was an incredible experience to be able to do that. Uh, from a handful of people, we grew to a, a major institution. And uh, I consider it uh, partly my baby, and I'm very attached to it. Our institute was modest, small size, but we were still part of the big program. And we were able to make a lot of discoveries. Sanford Burnham Previs today is unique in a way that uh, we combine world-class capabilities in fundamental laboratory research and we combine that with the translational research capabilities. What we can do now is take our basic discoveries, identify where a drug could be needed, and then actually screen for that drug in, in huge libraries of drugs. The Previs Center uh, which is our drug discovery center, is one of the most advanced non-for-profit drug discovery centers in the world. It's unique because it's a blend of academic science with industry trained scientists, all looking to make a difference and come up with transformational new drugs to treat disease. We work on a lot of rare diseases in my lab and we've probably diagnosed on a research basis over 200 patients. We've found and discovered 20 new genetic disorders. And we've actually been able to provide the underpinnings and the reasoning behind something that can be used to treat these patients. It takes years to come up with a new drug, but uh, the Previs Center has been focused on this for some time, and I'm happy to report that hopefully sometime about next May, we should see the first patients being uh, administered our new drug, and that's a major milestone to look forward to. Our institute has been enormously fortunate uh, that we have donors and supporters who believe in our scientists and in our mission. I believe there's more potential for discovery coming out of this organization than any other organization I've ever supported. Being involved with the Santa Burnham Previs Institute has given me more satisfaction than anything I've done in my whole life.